What's going on, everybody? Uh, if you have been uh, on the channel and watching the channel so far, or if you're new, uh, then you may not know. I don't tend to do unboxings that often, uh, but got a little something new here. And so let's check it out. Prototype, slicey slice. Ooh, I did not expect this to come in a box. Or not quite like this. Riot knives, yes, yes, okay. Ooh. Ooh. I feel something happening to me. Ooh. I, I, oh, oh, oh. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> the real Sharif, I'm here. Excuse my stupidity. <laughs> but I, I just kind of had to with this guy. The hype knife of the moment, in my opinion, uh, the Riot XOM here came in the mail. And this is just going to be kind of an unboxing uh, to kind of like talk about this guy. But I'll tell you, right from the offset, beautifully made. Really nicely made. I have the uh, burlap version with uh, the, I guess you could call that ever so slightly drop point blade there. And the M is actually smaller than the original. Now, honestly... I didn't buy into the hype of the original at all. Like I saw tons of people picking it up. I thought about it myself and I said, you know what? Like, okay, they're super duper illegal in most places. Stop right there, criminal scum. And they, they uh, you know, don't have any sort of locking mechanism to ensure kind of that they stay closed, etc. cetera. Um, so I, I don't know. While I do think the styling and everything is super cool, love the concept of them, uh, I just, I didn't buy into the hype. And I really wondered how many people got these and just used them essentially as fidget toys and never really took them out of the house for obvious reasons. Now, holding this, I gotta say, I kinda get it. I kinda get it. I personally like that I waited for this version to experience it because I do enjoy the fact that there's a lock. More importantly, I do like that there is a pocket clip, which, I'll talk about in a second, but this one, the the XOM, as it's being called, uh, kind of addressed both of my main issues. So let's kind of go through my initial impressions. As always, Riot impresses CPM 3V blade steel with a really nice stone wash on the blade here and then satin ground flats, super sexy, love that combination. I always love actually having satin ground flats if I ever have a, a way of going about it. Mine, I chose burlap micarta because I am quite literally a whore for Riot's burlap micarta. I love it and I, I don't care, who knows. Uh, construction, fit, and finish seems to be pretty good. 
it's definitely an interesting concept to me with a blade that kind of wiggles a little bit here and there. But I mean, if you think about an OTF uh, auto, you know, you kind of get some of the the same things kind of going on here. Uh, so I'm not going to be too hard on it there because I do think that the um, tolerances would have to be a little too tight and a little unreasonable for uh, mass production. Now, I think my only gripe with this guy really comes in one place, and that's the pocket clip here. Now, I'm gonna have to see what it's like in regular use, but for a knife of this price, A, why didn't we get a titanium pocket clip? Why did we get this, you know, folded over knife? And more importantly, they went through the trouble of actually making a groove in the blade for the pocket clip to sit, but then gave us this really large rounded screw head there. So let's, let me grab a, uh, a handkerchief real quick and show you what I mean. So, yeah, look at that. It just wants to bind the second you get there. So it's supposed to be a deep carry pocket clip, but there's no way you are going to get material around that head of the screw. And I think that's a pretty surprising oversight for a company like uh, Briot, honestly. I don't know if there's just not enough room in there in order to do a countersunk screw head. Uh, that's probably my suspicion. Looking at the materials here and the way it's constructed, but if I'm going to get that kind of retention where it's not fully seated, why not just give me a titanium pocket clip? really, instead of this bent steel one. I think it actually kind of detracts a little bit from the overall concept because this is really nicely done. I mean, all of the milling is really on point. It feels nice in the hand, feels very high quality. And I think this is the only part that genuinely kind of lets it down. Um, but, dude, this is, I kind of get the hype. I kind of do. I can see why a lot of people were really geeked about this thing when it first came out. I do think that this is the better option, though. And given the neutral handle ergos, given the size of it, I mean, even though it's a three-inch blade and it's a kind of smaller knife, even with my double extra large hands, I still get a nice full four finger grip and no hot spots whatsoever. So I'm actually genuinely impressed by this and I'm a little pissed because I'm not gonna lie you guys, I kinda got this with the intent of just reviewing it and flipping it but this little SOB may need to stay in the collection. I don't have anything like it, both stylistically and function-wise, and it's it's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, I kind of dig it. Stick around. I'm definitely gonna do a review on this guy. I'm going to use it a bit, but yeah, man. I don't know, maybe you'll hear that I got arrested because I've been carrying this thing. Try me, bitch. But, I mean, I do live in California. They are kind of crazy about stuff sometimes. But, no, I, I gotta say, overall, first impressions are surprisingly good. I, I get the hype. It's really funny because I don't think pictures do it justice. Like, in pictures, this kind of feels like it's a little narrow of a blade compared to the overall thickness here but 
when you actually have it in hand, it's a pretty handsome knife.